Hey everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing and today I'm going to show you how you can add any song or sound to your Instagram Reels videos. So Instagram Reels is Instagram's new feature. It's basically their version of TikTok. They look very similar. And while Reels has a decent music library, it definitely doesn't have everything. It won't have your own songs. It doesn't have popular sounds from TikTok, YouTube, or other places on the internet. Basically, adding your own sound to your Reels videos is really easy. You can do this on any device. Uh, in the browser of your phone or your computer. It's free and you don't have to download any new apps. I'm first gonna show how you can do this on your phone where you can add one audio track to the video in a few clicks, it's really simple. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it on your computer where you can actually add multiple audio tracks and time them out. So if you're making a more complicated Reels video or something where you have multiple sounds going like sound effects or other things, then definitely do it on your computer. So just click the first link in the description below. It's kapwing.com studio. I'll meet you there and let's get started. So to add any sound or song to your Instagram Reels videos from your phone, make sure you sign into your account because then the, there won't be a watermark added to your video and signing in is free. So when you get to this page, you can either upload your file that the video you want to use for Reels or you can paste a link. So for example, like a TikTok video or a Twitter video or YouTube video. Uh, I already have a file that I want to upload a video. So I'm just gonna choose that one. And the video should load right in the studio. Um, so one thing to note is that Instagram Reels videos are 15 seconds or less. So if you have a video that's longer than that, you can upload it to Kapwing, but obviously when you upload it to Instagram, they're gonna make you cut it down. So just be aware of that. Uh, if your video isn't already less than 15 seconds and you wanna make it less than 15 seconds here, you can just click the video, edit video, and then click trim at the top and then you can move the sliders to trim where you want it to start or end. But this one, this video is nine seconds, so I'm fine with leaving it as the full video. So then to add audio, all you do is go scroll in the time, in the, in the bar at the top and then click the audio tab. So when I get here, I can either upload an audio file, so for example, an MP3 file from my phone, or I can paste the link to a URL, and it doesn't have to be audio URL, it can be a video, for example. So like TikTok, Twitter, YouTube links all work. I have a, I found a TikTok video that is an original sound you can see at the bottom. And I'm just gonna use this as an example. I'm gonna share the link or copy the link and then go back to the Kapwing editor and then paste the link right there. And it should start immediately grabbing that song. And so you can see that it added the audio without the video. So now it's just the audio from that video. Cool. So you can adjust the volume of the original video track. Um, if you want to mute the original video, the original video's audio, you can just slide this bar down. And then that should be muted and then you can also trim the audio you just added so if you want it to start at a different place just use these sliders i'm gonna trim this down because it's a 40 second audio clip and my video is only nine seconds cool so once you're happy with that just click done and your video should be good to go if you're happy with this you just wanted to add the audio go ahead and click export video in the top corner um, but while you're here, you can also add other things like text, images, and then adjust when they appear on the screen using the timeline. So feel free to play around. You can even add subtitles, which no one does on TikTok, but it's definitely good practice for more people to watch your video. But yeah, I think I'm happy with this. I'm gonna go ahead and click export video now. Okay, so my video is done processing. This is what it looks like. And the audio that I added from the TikTok video is playing over it. So to actually save this to your phone to upload to Reels, you're gonna just click download and click download again and it should save to your files. Uh, and in the top right corner, you can see there's that, da that downward button. So just click that and then hold down uh, or click the final video that you just saved and then click the icon in the bottom left corner 
and then scroll up a little bit and say save video and that should save it to your camera roll so if we go check there's the save video so now I'm gonna go to Instagram and upload this to reels so if you swipe right you can create reels so you can see that the reels option is on the bottom and all you have to do to upload your video is click the icon in the corner and then click the video you just made and like you can trim it and do things to it if you want and then click done and then obviously you can add whatever else you want to your other edits to this video um, but if you're happy with that just click the arrow and this is where you can add text um, but I'm good with that so then write your caption, shared reels, and or your feed, and you'll just click share, and that's it. So to add multiple audio tracks to your Instagram reels video, you're just gonna go to the same place as if you were doing it on a phone, just in the browser, kapwing.com studio, and you can just click the link in the description below. And the same process is uh, how you start off. So just upload a file from your, from your computer, or you can paste a link. So I have a TikTok video that I'm going to use for this and it's just one of my TikTok videos on my account so I'm just going to paste the link to that and it should start grabbing that content for me. So we can see that it brought up the video here and what you want to do to add multiple audio files is not don't click the audio tab here you can actually just click timeline. So this will bring up uh, the video this is a video layer and it'll also show any other layers in this canvas so right now all I have was the video layer um, but if I had added text or images those layers would also show up here so to upload an audio file you're gonna go to upload in the corner here and you have a couple options here so the first one is just if you have an mp3 file you can just go ahead and upload that or paste the link to it but for example, if you want to use a video, if you want to use the audio from a video, so if you wanted to just have the audio from the TikTok video or the YouTube video in this video, you can either paste the link to that video here, but it will also bring up the visuals for that video. So I'll show you an example. So if I wanted to use the audio from this video, my one of my other videos, uh, I can just copy that link and paste it in and as you can see it grabbed the video for me so obviously the audio comes with the video um, but the video will also be in the image so one way to counter that if you still just want to use this audio click done and then take this layer and send it backward and so you have the audio from the video you just pasted in if you want to mute the original videos audio then just click mute click the layer and then click mute on the side and in the background we can hear the other video that we wanted the audio from so let's go back to the timeline that's one way to do it and again instagram reels videos have to be 15 seconds or less so actually this this video layer is a little bit too long and so is the audio so i'm gonna cut this down to 14 seconds and then I'm also gonna trim this by just dragging the end all the way down to just a bit less than the video. If you want to just have the mp3 file, another way is we have this uh, convert video tool. So all you have to do is paste a URL. So I'm gonna paste the link to this video that I want the audio from and paste it right in there. And then just click mp3 and then create. So as you can see, it created an MP3 file. Uh, all I have to do to bring this into my other project is click this URL, copy it, and then click upload and paste the URL. So as you can see, uh, when I pasted that created MP3 into this project, it created this audio waveform. And so I guess the two methods I just showed come to the same result, but you might have different preferences so the first one is obviously easier you just go straight upload paste the url you're done you just send this send the video layer you want shown to the very front but for this 
method. This one can be nice because you can actually see the audio waveform, so where the music jumps and rises and dips. And that's nice for editing, so it's just easier to see where you can edit, wh which part of the song you want to edit to. And again, you can edit by dragging this down. So if I wanted to end it there and start it right where the, the noise gets louder, uh, I'll end, uh, drag the ends there and then drag this back. And I have to make it less than 15 seconds. So you can do this as many times as you want. You can upload as many MP3 files and time them out. So maybe I only want this MP3 file to be at the end, to come in at the end. So I can edit it down to there. And then, so this is the other audio file that's through the whole song while this one comes in at the end. Or I can just make this come in at the start and then it's silent and then this one comes in at the end. So this is great for sound effects if you just want a sound effect to like come in right in the middle of the tick of, of the reels video you're making and just have more flexibility with editing sounds and into your reels videos so once you're done with that click done and another thing i want to point out with sounds is that you can actually add a scene and whatever you add to this second scene and anything you add for example in the timeline if you upload audio here all the audio will stay within the scene so this applies to any scenes all the audio will stay all the audio uploaded in that scene will stay within that scene so if i upload some i have songs in this first scene and i don't have any sound that i added to this second scene you can hear it so let's get to the end of the first video so this is the end of the first video and you should be able to hear the music Cool. So if you, let me do that again because it was a little. So as you can see, it the music stopped once it got to the second scene. So this is pretty nice if you want to have different scenes with different audio layers attached and it keeps it nice and clean and pretty simple just to divide up the different areas of the, of the project. If you want video, if you, if you want audio playing throughout the whole project, just one audio track, you can go to this global audio layer up here. And this is the same thing. You can either upload an audio MP3 file or you can paste the link to a video or audio file. Another option is you can record. So this is just for voiceovers and maybe narrating over your Reels video, which is pretty common. Make sure, also make sure it's 9 by 16, which is what the uh, phone size is. So um, if you filmed this on your phone and uploaded it, it should already be 9 by 16. But if you upload this to Instagram, it's going to crop it if it isn't. So that's just another tip. Um, but once you're done, just go ahead and click export video. So this is the final video. And to get this onto your phone to upload to Instagram Reels, you can either download the file to your computer and then get it from your computer to your phone, or you can copy the link to this video, send it to your phone, and then once you're on your phone, just click download on your phone. The same steps I showed for the previous part of this video. Um, so here the here's the video again, and here's me uploading it to Instagram Reels. Thanks for watching this video. If it was helpful, please give it a like and definitely subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and tips and tricks on content creation. Let us know what other videos you'd like to see and we'll see you in the next one.